Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Before I start, I would appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me a lot out. So let's get into it. We could talk about LCX. What is LCX? It's LCX in exchange, which is regulated and offers obviously digital currencies and everything else. But why is it special? It does have eight regulatory registrations of approval underneath the Financial Market Authority in Liechtenstein under the registration number 28159. So what does that mean? Let's get into it. So the eight approvals, obviously registrations are the TT Exchange Service Provider, the Token Depository, the Key Depository, the Price Service Provider, Identity Service Provider, Token Generator, Token Issuer on its own, and Token Issuer on behalf of clients. That is massive. Wow, guys. That is crazy. Basically, they can provide and obviously generate tokens to other companies, obviously who aren't in the crypto world. So you can talk about big, big companies of the world, like, say, companies like Nike, Adidas, so you name it, they can provide, they're legally allowed to issue and generate tokens to them on behalf of them, their company, as well as obviously keep your information obviously safe and obviously not obviously like other companies do, they sell your information, they, can, they have obviously a lot, a lot of regulatories here, so this is massive guys, so what do LCX do? They obviously, they list an exchange like obviously everyone else. So they're on Coinbase Pro, Kraken, obviously they own exchange, LCX, or Uniswap. If you do want to buy this token, I do have a referral link below, which you can obviously use that and get some money for obviously your first couple of shares. So I put that in the description below. If you do want to obviously buy something from them, them, them companies, use it. Obviously, it can help both of us out. So let's look into it. LCX obviously is owned by a person called Monty Metzger, who's from Liechtenstein. He has got a background in uh, obviously trading and obviously financial services. He did have a few companies before he started, but in obviously 2017, 2018, he decided to uh, start up LCX. Yeah, obviously he uses obviously LCX terminal. He has a DeFi terminal and it basically wants to tokenize assets and securities in the future which is massive because I will talk about it in the future, but BlackRock and JP Morgan are really interested or tokenizing assets on the blockchain. So this is the idea which he had a few years ago and he wrote it down on a napkin. Everything started on a napkin. So he wanted the EU local bank finance for the crypto exchange. Obviously, then you want speed like a fiat bank. He doesn't want a bank like physical bank. He wants the, obviously the banking system for LCX and then also, he wants to manage assets. So this is all below here. He wants to basically mass it, maintain new coins. So I can't really see what that says. Channel liquidity. So he's in it for the long run. And he does want to obviously take care of everything in blockchain wise. So And he's backed by blockchain. So you think about commodities, look, such as land, wine, gold, houses, obviously pro massive properties. He wants, to, he wants everything to be tokenized through the blockchain. So... This saves a lot of hassle going to the courts and etc. Everyone knows who they belong to and obviously who owns that property or commodity, etc. So let's have a look at the price today. Today is up a little bit, 6%, six percent. Obviously, 7.7 cents equally trading at right now. So let's have a look at the tokenomics of the coin. The market cap is currently at 60 million, which is obviously really, really good. It's still, I'll consider it like a low cap still. So it did spark up. Over the last obviously week, because of the CPI numbers came in really well, obviously six point five percent. So it did spike up a little bit, like everyone predicted. Everyone just waiting, waiting for it, obviously for them numbers to come out. So he has obviously seventy three million fully diluted market cap. The the trading volume is down over the last twenty four hours, near thirty percent. So I would be careful, guys, if you do want to get into it, if you're first time buyer. I wouldn't say wait, but. I would, you'd need to go into it with a plan. Obviously, the volume is quite low, so it can easily be manipulated both ways. Everyone is waiting for a big, uh, Bitcoin retracement to like the 19.5, where the CME futures gap is. So I would be careful. Uh, the supply we have right now is not 950 million to share for a billion, and then the circulated supply is 771 tokens, obviously. So like I said, guys, the, really the places to buy this coin from is... On Coinbase, Kraken, and then that has, I'll probably say, and Uniswap, they're the like best for you to buy it from. If you do want to buy it, like I said, use my referral link below in the description. So let's look at the, obviously ETH, ETH scan and see how many holders we have. 
So right now we have 16,000 uh, holders. I think 14,000 we had last week. So it's up nearly 2,000 holders, 1,500, I would say. Yeah. So it's gradually increasing every single day along with the price. So I would be careful, guys, if you do, don't do fall more in it. Do, obviously, do your research. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so uh, be careful. I don't want you to, obviously, you won't lose anything right now in the long term. But I don't want you guys just to buy it right at the top. Wait for, uh, for a red day, a red candle to form. So who has the most whole uh, coins in, the, in obviously, LCX? So obviously, like you think, the company reserve has 100 million which is 10.5% of all tokens issued at 7.6 million value. And then we have Uniswap and Coinbase, which is normal and probably have some more coins throughout the teams and all the people who developed it, etc. So let's look into what BlackRock have said. BlackRock has been interested in JP Morgan for a while now to tokenize assets, like I said, like obviously wine, gold, etc. All the commodities, anything you can name of, they want to put it in the blockchain, obviously, and, and obviously you have like a ID and who has it and it just makes their lives easier so the next gen the ceo of life thing said the next generation of markets the next generation of securities will be tokenization of securities in the world of blockchain tokenization refers to a process where a digital representation of an asset is created on blockchain authenticating its transaction and ownership history who is that you know who it goes to and who gets transferred to so we have full of the that kind of history of where what well, well, that asset had been and who's it been to so in both cases yeah you could say right i know who it belongs to i have the rights to it and in other ways if obviously if you're doing something illegal you're going to get caught very very quick and obviously people know who exactly who to if you want to see the assets which is obviously both it's very difficult to say obviously crypto you want to be anonymous you want to be obviously have rights to everything and Maybe they can take it away. It's very difficult. The government can take it away. So the pros and cons to everything. This approach enables a different way to trade assets like stocks, bonds, real estate, or alternative assets like land, wine, like I said, or art, following transfers to be visible on a public ledger. The tokenization will provide instantaneous sentiment and reduce fees. Despite these advantages, he added that development of this type of technology would, wouldn't disrupt BlackRock's business model. So I think it's very good, all in all, it's very good. What price do I see, obviously, this coin going to? Right now, it's at 7.6 cents. And I do believe in the next bull run, or even end of this year, I could easily see it being 20 cents. I think the all-time high for the coin was around, I think, 70 cents, I do believe. 70 cents, is it? It's a lot different than that mobile app, so yeah. I think it was about actually 45 cents sorry 45 cents it was in 2021 so right now 60 million market cap even if you do 10x right here 600 million that's nothing really nothing for for what these guys can do it's not a lot so if i compare it to to crowcoin cronus which has 30 billion supply of tokens it's currently if you do if you can get to that market cap right now it's at 2.59 obviously dollars which is 30 near 34x but i easily think we can easily 100x this coin easily if you talk right it would be 6 billion market cap which is nothing right now let's see who is at 6 billion market cap no i mean the top 10 right now we have shiba inu yeah 6 billion easy we could easily do that 100x that even a thousand x depending obviously the bull market the conditions but this is a regulatory obviously exchange first one in europe so this has a lot of advantages and these guys are way ahead of the curve so they want to conquer that european market and they're trying to get obviously all the institutions and all, all the big companies into the into obviously using obviously this service which is a lot better for them and if they can do it successfully it's going to be massive I just imagine let's see if we can look at the team We'll show you the team. One of the guys on the advisory team is Jimmy Wales, which was a founder of Wikipedia, which is an obviously profit organization. And he has other advisor world, which is obviously quite impressive. And uh, I think this is where Katrina Metzger. And this is Monty, the CEO. Obviously, he's right now. He's at the World Economic Forum, obviously uh, talking about his new book that he's releasing. So they do have a pressure team below him. But 
I would say this can easily 100x, if not 1000x in the next bull run. And look at it, we're just a little bit below price wise, Crow coin as well, with nearly 30, 30x less supply as well. So thank you guys for listening. And if you do appreciate it, I would uh, appreciate a like and subscribe. Thank you very much.